Um, so, Tim, it's a 2 1 defeat to Berkham said this afternoon. I suppose the questions I'd ask are did we deserve more and what have we said to the lads after the game? Well, <laughs> well I won't use the language I uh, use, but. Um, did we deserve more? I, I thought it was very similar to the game at our place a week ago. Thought it was a bit of a war of attrition on a on a difficult surface. Um, I thought we definitely have once again created quite a few or got in some really good areas and then the scotch missed at the end of it. Uh, the two goals that we give away are absolutely abject at any level. You cannot, cannot make mistakes like that in the middle of your defence um, and, and expect to get away with it one and two to win football matches so when you look at the, the cold light of day we've conceded three goals in a week to, to Berkhamsted and every single one of them has been a calamitous individual error so you know that that then erases and eradicates everything that they've done there were some really good performances in there I thought Newley did terrific I thought uh, Peter Ambola covered every blade where there should be grass um, and one or two put in some really good performances but listen I'm, I'm not one for coming out and digging people out so you cannot make individual errors like that and, and, and expect to win football matches um, Are you concerned by the errors that keep popping up because I suppose it's something that you I suppose you can't frame errors out of somebody well, we, we, When you say keep happening they have the last three goals in the last two matches prior to that St Ives we didn't make any errors and um, and obviously at Hitchin we didn't I mean, you know, and we were down to 10 men for an hour in that so you know, it's not. And when you look at the defensive record, you know it's not bad. It, the problem was scoring goals. Now we've scored whatever it is, six in four. Um, but you know, you, maybe that's just something that's occurred in the last couple of weeks, and we won't see it again. But it's not, listen, you're always concerned when you're seeing that. You've got to be, aren't you? But um, you know, the, the the three of them back there are good, good, solid lads. I mean, no one goes out and means to make a mistake. There's no doubt about that. But uh, nevertheless, it's that that's cost us. I mean, with Billy Strike at the end as well, which is a world. Of, I mean, it's cost us a minimum of a point and probably three. You know, if you don't make those errors, if that if that's the last action of the game, you end up going home winning. But um, you know, Berkhams did, did what they did as they stuck in there. They could compete. They're on every you know challenge for every second ball, every first ball, and, and then, then wait for mistakes. And we're obliged. Um, you said last week after the in the interview after the game like you might look at the formation changing it. Mm. Is that something again you might look at ahead well, of leader market next Saturday? Possibly, I'll have a little look at what they do. I mean, uh, you know, I've got a little early report. They were at Starbridge the other day, and we had someone watch them. Um, so I've got sort of half an idea. But um, I mean, I changed shape within that to try and uh, to try and get us, you know, a chance at goal or, or a goal back. Certainly at one nil down. You know, we, we, we sort of went to uh, play with the 10, put Billy in the 10 behind the front two uh, and, and played played that way. Um, and then we went like 3 4 1 2 chasing it at the end. And we ended up getting a goal, but it, it's too late. But um, yeah, I'm not listening. I think any manager is always reviewing and reflecting and wondering you know, what he could have done better to, to try and get something out of the game. But you know, in the end, I think when I look at the tape tomorrow, I'll probably see what I think I've seen already, and that's you can't do what we did and expect to get away with it. And obviously, we can see at Needham top of the league. Mm -hmm. um, what sort of um, challenge do we expect from Needham? Well, uh, you know, they're, they're top of the league uh, in the middle of March for a reason. Um, you know, they're clearly a good side. Um, they're, they're, they've got pace. They've got some. They counter attack quickly. Uh, they overload areas. The right back, I think, pushes right on. From, but I think they play Redditch on Tuesday night. I think at home. So. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to get uh, some footage of that and, and, and have, a, have a quick look. But listen, when you're top of the league in March, you're not there because you're any good. You're there because you've been the best team so far coming into the home stretch. So you know, but I, I, as much as I look at those, I'm, I'm more concerned about you know what our lads bring. To, I, I saw some really good. I thought Billy did well when he went on. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Shaq, Shaq did okay when he when he. They both did well when he came on last week. So they've. They've thrown one on my toes for next week. You know, I've got to have a little think now, early doors next week, and think about uh, you know personnel. Uh, you know, forget shape to start with, and then have a look at what personnel I'm going to put in there. But um, it's got set seven days to have a think about it. But uh, the disappointing thing was, you know, when, when somebody beats you and you've made them work really hard, and someone hits one like Billy did, sometimes you got to go, okay. You know, we, we had a right go and that, but that was a that was a. You know, a bit of a, a flaky, soft way to give away ultimately the game. Cheers, Tim. Top man. Thank, Thank you. you.